everyone, Ash. Welcome back, and thank you for joining me. I'm picking up where I left off last time on Danger on Deception Island, which is the mystery I dedicated to my sister, Zaya. Hilda just gave us a poem to solve, so let the mystery continue. All right, so she said something about, like, an anvil rock, and there's one in the tunnel. And I want to see if we can access it from the lighthouse entrance rather than the hot kettle cafe entrance. So, yeah, that's where we're gonna go now. Ping, ping. <laughs> oh, bing, I'm sorry, I said ping. Okay, do we have to do that lever again? Uh, seven, five, I think, right? Yeah. I almost didn't remember. I was like, oops. Okay. Okay. That should hopefully have fixed it. Alright, here we go. Aww. Looks like the only way out of here is the way I came in. But I left it open, I promise. <laughs> Maybe that means somebody else was there. Dun dun dun! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so we have to go to the Hot Kettle Cafe entrance then. But now I know. game has some really pretty scenery. I love these little pictures that show up when Nancy's biking everywhere. Alright. Well, I guess while we're here. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Uh, it's been fun talking to you. Yeah, hasn't it, though? You again? See you around. Watch out for Caddy. I'll do that. Hold I'll do that. <laughs> Up there. Oh snap! It goes to another tunnel. Hmm. We'll go left this time. Oh my gosh! I feel like I'm just getting lost. Hey! Well, I guess random exploration gets you lost, and it helps you solve a mystery. So there's some coordinates here. More coordinates. I should have known. Here. That looks like the device I found in the buoy. So we use this at those coordinates. Probably don't have signal. No signal. Alright, well, I gotta write these coordinates down then. Alright. Oh, I wonder what else is up here. That's all there is to see up here, I think. Oh my gosh. Alright. Alright, cool. So, even if I leave that open, it seems like it always shuts itself. Yep! Weird. I thought I left it open. And it stayed open for a little bit. Although maybe that was before I opened up that other uh, trap door that goes into the sea caves. Which yeah, I gotta figure out that puzzle too. 
But for now, we'll just keep following uh, Hilda's, whatchamacallit's, missions. <laughs> I don't think uh, anything gave us hints to do that other puzzle thing. So. Alright, let's get out of here so I can go get some signal on my GPS. Okay. Barefoot. Tracker, know your place. <laughs> Alright, so make new. So 48425221230879999. Create waypoint. Huh, that looks like it's on the edge of the channel. Sounds kind of dangerous. Let's do it! Okay. Alright, time to go kayaking then. Oh, that's a pretty picture. Alright, Hilda, what do you have for us now? on it. At least it looks like a fish. Binoculars. Hilda? Uh-oh. I'm getting predictable. This really will be our oh. last conversation. Oh, I hope not. I'd really like to meet you. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. So, here you are in the home stretch. You mean I'm never going to get any kind of explanation? Oh, that's not Very fair. True. Okay, look. When I made my exit from Snake Horse Harbor, I left everything behind. You know, to kind of prove that I'd lost all my marbles. Problem is, I left behind something that I realize now I should have taken with me. My notebook on Benjamin Hawkins. Someone has obviously found it and is misusing it. See, my husband and I explored every inch of land in, around, and under Snake Horse Harbor. What we discovered, and we discovered everything, we wrote down in that notebook. So this fishy thing that's going on, you feel like it's your fault. Interesting. Precisely. So, use what I just gave you and take a look at the boat in the bottle that Andy has. A really good look. When the time comes, you'll know what to do with what you see. One more thing. Why do you want everyone to think you're crazy when you're obviously not? Oh, Nancy. After my husband died, I just got bored. I love the sand ones, but the people of Snake Horse Harbor, I got tired of them. So I moved across the channel, and to make sure people left me alone... You pretended to be nuts. But then I got to thinking that it might be a good idea to make contact with someone trustworthy, just in case. Hence the messages in the bottle. Now, get going before it's too late. And what I just told you, keep it to yourself, okay? Sure. So you won't be calling me anymore? No. This, as they say in the business, is a wrap. Well, I've enjoyed knowing you. And I you. Thank you, Nancy. Goodbye, Hilda. Aw. I like Hilda. Alright. Well, it was a pleasure talking to her. We have a mission to complete. We have to go look at boat in the bottle at Andy's, so let's get to it. No. I feel a little bummed she's not gonna call me anymore. It's alright. We'll finish this mission and make her proud. Alright, while we're here. Hi, Nancy. I should have known. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Whales rule! Yes, they do. Alright. If they rule so much, why do you have a picture of a shark there? Suspicious. There are some kind of symbols on those sails. Oh! I've seen those before. I think that, yeah, the, uh, the puzzle in the sea caves. Alright. That is awesome. 
<laughs> Alright, this is so cool. Um, lighthouse entrance should be fine for this, because we don't need the tunnels, we just need what's underneath the lighthouse. goes to it opened up another tunnel in the sea caves oh my gosh that is so amazing all right we have got to go kayaking like right now that is so 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 awesome oh my gosh so excited i can barely form words <laughs> all right let's go Okay. I wonder what we're gonna find. Oh, this is so awesome. All right, here we go. Wow, this must be where Benjamin Hawkins used to hide out. This is so cool. Whoa, what's all this? Oops. My bad. Oh my gosh. It's the whale. It's the orca. Wow. Someone's trained her. She's not wild at all. Wow. Hey. Um, let's try this out. <laughs> Maybe she wants to play catch. How cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. What a smart whale. Yeah. SS Whitechapel Dawn? That piece of driftwood I found must have come from a container just like this one. Yeah, the one Casey told us about. Harness? For a juvenile orca. Wow. There's fish here too. Scuba gear? This is all very interesting. Did I see everything? Firestone! Those must belong to Katie. Ooh. Well, that's not looking good for Katie. Alright. Couple more times. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, that is amazing. Alright. Aww. Making friends in this mystery. Hilda and this orca. Alright, oh. 
Hello? We get Hi, Nance. Out here? We're bored silly here, so we thought we'd give you a call. What's going on? Great timing, you guys. You will not believe what I just discovered. What? Tell us. For one thing, that orca that's been causing all the trouble around here, it's not wild at all. It's been trained. How do you know? Because I played fetch with it. I'd toss something into the water, and it would use its head to kind of bonk it back to me. Maybe it just picked that up on its own. No, see, I found this hidden sea cave, and in it was this harness-type thing like the military uses on the orcas that it trains. So what do you think it's been trained for? In the cave, there were also some cargo containers. They were from the White Chapel Dawn. You think somebody trained the orca to retrieve containers from that shipwreck? Casey the librarian did say the ship could have been smuggling something, and people don't usually bother smuggling something unless it's valuable. Very true. Who trained it? That's what I want to know. Well, in that hidden sea cave, I came across something else. What? A pair of work gloves. They had Katie's name on them. Oh my gosh. Katie's behind all this? Not necessarily. Those gloves may have been stolen from her. Have you asked her about them? Not yet. I'm on my way to do that right now. Well, get going and let us know what she says as soon as she says it. I will. Yep. We gotta get going. <laughs> the plot thickens. Alright. Katie's gone! What? Oh my gosh, her boat is gone! That's so insane! Um, alright. Well, no one to talk to up here, so we're gonna go to the Hot Kettle Cafe, and we'll just interrogate everyone. That was a little unexpected, my goodness. Hope she's okay, whatever happened. Hang on, I'll be right with you. You again? I need a favor. I need you to take me out on your boat. Right now? What for? I really need to get out to where a boat went down five years ago. It's just outside the channel. Why? There's a chance that Katie Firestone is out there, and I really need to talk to her. Just before she took off in her boat, she told me she'd been secretly feeding the orca. I'm not taking my boat out now. It's almost dark. Just call the Coast Guard. They won't do anything. I don't have proof. Look, I'm not going anywhere. And if you know what's good for you, neither are you. Just forget it. Aw, Holt. I heard everything you told Holt. Believe me, there's nothing I'd like better than to help you get the goods on Ms. High <laughs> and Mighty. But I got a cafe to run. Try Andy Jason. All right. Go to the whale world, dude. Alright, Andy. We need your help. You. <laughs> Alright. Hi, Nancy. I was hoping you could help me. I was just about to close up shop, but what do you need? Katie fixed her boat and took it out. She may have gone out to the site of this old shipwreck. In any case, I'd really like to catch up to her. And you'd like me to give you a ride? Me and my kayak. Kayak? Are you nuts? It'll be dark in ten minutes. And what about the fog? I need you to take me out one and a half miles due northwest fine. of the I lighthouse. This. Please, this is really important. I can explain on the way. Oh, man. You've got me so curious, there's no way I can say no. You just got yourself a boat ride. Thanks, Andy. Be careful. I'll be waiting right here. Ooh. Well, that's not the boat I was looking for. Oh, my goodness. It's all coming back to me. The whale's making her final dive. Good. The launch just brought in the last of the stuff that was stored in the sea cave. Another hour, and we'll be out of here. If the crew sees me, I'm done for. What are you eating? Beef jerky. Liberated it from that camping supply place. Want some? 
Still can't believe you robbed those places. The boss was fit to be tied, boss. especially after you hit that cafe. Having that tunnel with all those trap doors and nobody suspecting a thing? It was like being a kid with a key to the candy store. I couldn't help myself. More crates. I wonder what's in those. Those look like animal furs. What was that? Oh, no. <sighs> Hold it right there, Missy. Oops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right, second chance. Hey, no snoozing. Boss says this Nancy Drew person is a real trouble. Oh, snap. But she's gonna show up out here. <laughs> I'm just telling you what the boss told me. Now keep your eyes open. I <laughs> love this voice acting. Uh. Where'd you put the notebook? Boss has it. Nice of Hilda nut job to leave it behind like that, huh? Couldn't have pulled this off without it, that's for sure. Alright. Hey! That must be the orca I saw before. Hey buddy, what's up? Oh no. Katie? Oh my gosh! Nancy! I was afraid no one would ever find me! What happened? How did you get here? I fixed my boat and went right out to check on the whale. Only the fog was rolling in and it was getting dark. Then I finally saw her, only she was being fed by some men in an outboard. They were putting some sort of harness on her. When they saw me, they rammed my boat, then grabbed me, tied me up and brought me here. I don't know what's going on. I think I do. They're using the whale to bring up smuggled cargo from a shipwreck. Shh! Listen! Someone's coming! Hide! Hide! Yes, yell so they hear. Oh. I don't feel like it's great. <gasps> Andy Jason! Well, Katie, you'll be happy to know that your friend Nancy will be joining us any minute. Hey, how'd you get that gag off? Well, it appears she's already here. All right, where are you? Nancy! If I could make it back to my kayak, I could go get help. Somebody stop her! Let's go! Oh no! Oh no! I'm trapped! Well, what do we have here? I knew it was you all along, and I told Holt and Jenna, if anything happens to me, they'll know you did it. Nice try, but I can smell a bluff a mile away. You're about to become the victim of an unfortunate kayaking accident. Or maybe I'll tell my <laughs> customers that the snake horse got you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Looks menacing. What did you do that for? Say goodnight, Nancy. <laughs> Nuts. Yes. Way to go, buddy! She saved me! Aww. Nancy Drew! Nancy Drew, are you on the board? This is Holt Scarrow, and I'm here with the Coast Guard. Nancy. Dear Ned, I've got to hand it to Andy Jason. The plan he cooked up to recover smuggled animal furs was a darn good one. First, he got himself an orca that the Russians had trained for covert military operations. Then, he made it look like the whale was an orphan, so he could hide her in plain sight while she did his dirty work at night. Then, he and his henchmen disabled Katie's boat to keep her out of their way. They needed work gloves, so they stole hers. In fact, Andy's henchmen couldn't resist using the tunnel they'd found out about in Hilda's notebook to steal practically everything they could get their hands on. But now Andy and his buddies are in jail, Jenna is serving more clam chatter than ever, Katie is planning to vote for Holt after all, the orca is getting along great with a local pod and is rapidly losing interest in humans, Aww. and I'm back on the ferry headed home. See you soon, Nancy. P.S. Just before I left. I saw something appear, then quickly disappear in the channel by Katie's boat. She said it was just a log, but I'm pretty sure it was you know who. It's Caddy. Saying goodbye. It's Caddy. <laughs> hey, 
Chief Sassy Detective, congratulations on solving the Danger and Deception Island case. Based on your cool sleuthing style, you are presented with the... Going everywhere and seeing everything. Magellan Award. <laughs> awesome! Well, I solved the mystery, and I must say, this game ages pretty well. This was one of my favorites growing up, and I had just as much fun playing it now as I did back then. What a game. I absolutely love it. It had very beautiful areas to explore, and some really unique locations as well. You know, you get to see a secret beach, you get to see a lighthouse, sea caves, tunnels, a very cool cafe that I wish I could go to in real life. <laughs> And Whale World's pretty awesome too, you know, there's some fun games to play there. Just a phenomenal game, and the characters were interesting as well. You had your salesman, your fisherman, your marine biologist, uh, the lady that owns Cafe, and, you know, Hilda, the lady who pretends to be crazy to get people to leave her alone. I mean, just very distinctive and interesting characters. And the mystery itself was awesome. I mean, using a trained whale to recover smuggled goods from a shipwreck? That's pretty original right there. Actually, the, the ending of this game... <laughs> Zaya and I used to quote it when we were younger. We had like the entire thing memorized. It was funny. Well, I had so much fun playing this, and... I'm very grateful to you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys, and your subs and likes always help me out. Thank you so much. And if my video made you smile, I'd appreciate it if you click the like button, and if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Chill like a penguin, and God bless. I hope you'll join me on my next playthrough. <laughs>